For custom fields, the data type can be changed. But for standard fields, we cannot change the data type. Custom fields can also be created on both standard and custom objects. If you do decide to change the data type of a custom field, be careful because data loss could occur. For example, if you change the data type from a number to a date, you will lose the data that used to be there because those two data types are not compatible with each other. A custom field cannot be deleted if there are any references to them. If you delete a custom field, then any list views that had that field on it may also be deleted because the data from that field might be completely wiped. Be aware that by deleting a field, any assignment or escalation rules that are based on that field may also be affected. Further, any assignment or escalation rules that aren't particularly related to that field could also be affected because now there is no assignment or escalation rule based on that field at all. If a custom field is referenced by workflow, process builder, or flow, then the data type of that custom field cannot be changed. Field history tracking is a feature that can be used to track the history and changes of a particular field. We can show the field history tracking on record page layouts. It shows the old value, the new value, who made the change, and the exact time and date that the change was made. In standard fields, you can only change the label of the field, not the data type and not the API name. A field dependency is where we have two different fields and the value of the second field is dependent on what the value of the first field is. There are two different types of fields that we can use as the controlling field in a field dependency. These are checkboxes and pick lists. Be careful because multi-pick lists are not valid as the controlling field in a field dependency. Just think about it for a little bit. When we are choosing the field dependency, we're saying if this field is this value, then our next field will have these values available. And if we choose our controlling field to be a multi-pick list, then we're saying that if the value of that first field is option A and option B, then it will be this. But we would have to accommodate for all of those different combinations. What if it's option A, option B, but option C? What if it's option A, option C, option F? What if it's just option A, just option F? There's so many different options there that it gets way too complicated for a multi-select pick list to be that controlling field. Instead, it's just normal pick lists and just check boxes. Fields that can be used as the dependent field in a field dependency, so that second field, can be custom pick lists or multi-select pick lists. Once a field is deleted, it can be undeleted within 15 days of the delete. After that, it's gone permanently. If a field is undeleted within the 15 days, then all of its data and field history is also restored. Custom fields can be hard deleted, which means that they can be removed permanently before that 15 days is up. This is useful if you're trying to free up some space in your org. If you delete a field that was mapped to other fields in your org, then the mapping will not be restored. You'll have to reset that up once the field is undeleted. The data type of the deleted field will remain if you undelete it. Any object relationships or required fields will have to be reset up if you decide to restore a field within those 15 days after deletion.